Hey guys, so as you can see, um, I've changed the title of the song from SpaceX to Ordon. SpaceX is like just a placeholder until I found out the real, what I really wanted to get across with this song. Um, but I always, I, I knew I wanted to capture like the, the epicness of like going, like going to space, right? And, and I feel like I, I, I captured that with this song. I really do. And, um, basically, like, after I, I got the bass melody, like, the, the basic melody, then I started focusing on harmony and counter melodies and adding in, you know, embellishments, and then, and then after that, I, you know, made sure everything was, like, I made sure the dynamics were good, made sure nothing overpowered, um, the melody, made sure things were you know, clean, and, you know, just going back and editing the little details, and every little th detail that you, you, you know, fix, it goes a long way. I've been doing this for five, four or five years now, composing, so now it's just intuitive, but you really just have to keep making songs, and then, and keep making songs, and and I suggest getting Google Flat because you can get feedback from other people and it's really helpful. And the more you practice, the more it just comes naturally to you. Um, once you get the basic melody, keep developing it. And then just think about how to close it. Like something I struggled with when I was first starting was how do I end this song? And it's really just like you one one uh one method I use is I always try to go back to the first, like, um, couple measures and try to, like, bring back that musical motif. Um, you want to make sure it's kind of like, it's kind of like a pyramid. Like, you're rising, 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 and then you fall. You fall back, right, at the end. So you're coming to home. Um, also, you don't want to, like, force it. You don't want to just put notes in it just to put notes you want to make sure every note that you put in means something or is, is there for a reason. Because if you're just doing this, you know, just to put in a note, like, it's just, it's going to end up sounding heavy and like, you know, just not, not as clean as it could, right? So you want to make sure, like, don't overdo it, like, you know, just, just, it's not about how complex a rhythm is. It's not about how, you know, like, technically difficult it is. It's just about, are you getting across a message you're trying to get across? What Are you, is the emotion you're trying to convey clear in your song? And if that's true, you made a good song. Because how good a song is, it's completely subjective. If, if it, my my definition of good is 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 if I like it. If I like my song, then I think it's good. If other people like it too, that's great. But I I do this for I do this for me, and um, basically, you just have to. If if you like the song, then that's 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 it's good. But also, you're gonna get if you get feedback from other people, and um, they they can help you improve, like you know, like, what, what, they can, they can, they can help you kind of get to your full potential, right, but you don't, you don't have to listen to that if you, if you really don't, if you really think they, they, if you really don't agree with them, right, I like listening to the feedback from other people on Google Fly because they always give me great advice, but, you know, ultimately, you have to do what, you have to make you have to write what makes you feel happy. This kind of de devolved into like um more I don't know not about the music but like it's important like why are you writing this song and and that kind of helps you that kind of helps like direct what like what you write you know anyway that's enough of me talking let me play you the finished product okay.
that's my song, Oridon. Uh, where to come from, you guys? Peace.